The purpose of this video is to walk you through the assembly of Kyoto's M888 Kokoro Massage Chair. This chair is very easy to set up and run, but we recommend that you and a friend set aside at least one hour for assembly. You should assemble the chair in the room that you intend to use it in, because when the chair is fully assembled, it'll be too wide to fit through most doors. The chair is going to ship to you in three boxes. There's the smallest, more cube-shaped box that contains the footrest, the middle-sized box that contains the armrests, and the largest box that has the main body of the chair in addition to the accessory kit. We're going to start by opening the largest of the boxes. Remove the lid in the topmost packaging. Inside are the essential tools and pieces that we will need for the assembly. This includes the wireless remote, power cord, screwdriver, additional parts, owner's manual, and quick start guide. I recommend that you use the quick start guide to follow along with this video throughout the assembly, but for now, set the rest of the items aside. We will need them later. Now we're returning to the main box. Remove the rest of the packaging from around the chair. When you've removed everything except for the bottom most part of the box, have a friend or family member help you team lift the chair out of the packaging. With the body of the chair out of the box, open the remaining boxes. While removing the arms and footrests from their boxes, place them on a soft and clean surface so that you don't damage them. Now that everything is removed from their boxes, let's start putting things together. If you haven't already, move the footrest towards the foot of the chair. There you will see a port for an electrical connector and a nozzle for an air hose. These correspond to the electrical plug and air hose that are on the footrest. Connect these together. While inserting the electrical plug, make sure that you use the alignment nub and that it snaps securely into place with an audible click. And make sure that the air hose is firmly on the nozzle. Cover these connections with the provided fabric wrap, which will attach to the chair with Velcro, as seen here. With the power and air connected for the footrest, use the Phillips head screwdriver from the accessory box to remove the screw from both of the axle holders that are on the front of the chair. Then flip the axle holders to the open position. Now lift the footrest and place the axles into the open axle holders. Feel free to get an extra hand for this maneuver. Then flip the holders closed. Replace the Phillips head screws that we removed earlier, securing the footrest into place. To finish this off, lay the flap with Velcro on the footrest across the fabric front of the chair. Then zipper the two pieces together as seen here. Now we're going to move on to the arms of the chair. Here we're starting with the right arm. When I refer to left or right sides of the chair, I'm referring to it as if I was sitting in the chair. Additionally, the right arm of the chair has an easy access control panel. When attaching the arm, there's a slot in the arm that has a metal clip that will slide down on the frame. We find it easiest to slide the arm onto the frame about halfway. This gives you easy access to the electrical connections and air hoses. On the right arm, there are two air hoses and two electrical plugs. While connecting these, line up the alignment latch and snap the connectors into place. It is important to not force these pieces together. Each plug has a different number of pins, so it should be easy to identify which pieces fit together. 
With the electric plugs connected, connect the air hoses to the nozzle on the arm. Make sure to connect the black hose to port number one and the gray hose to port number two. With these firmly attached, we are ready for the next step. Towards the front of the arm, there's a rubber plug. Remove it, exposing a captive screw. Do not remove the screw for any reason. With the plug removed, slide the arm of the chair the rest of the way down the frame, using the brackets on the inside of the arm to guide you. When sliding the arm down, there are two nubs that slide into corresponding sockets on the body of the chair. Bump it into place to make sure that the arm is secure. Finish it off by tightening the captive screw and then replace the rubber plug. Repeat this process for the left arm of the chair. The only difference being that there is one less electrical connection. Now we're almost ready to enjoy our new chair. In the accessories box, there's a power cord. Use this to connect the chair to power and then toggle the power switch on. When the chair is powered on and receiving power, the power switch will glow. The first time you power on the chair after assembling it, it's going to automatically return to its upright position. Now return to the accessories box again. Inside, there's a wireless remote. Power the remote on by holding the power button and run an auto program to make sure that everything in the chair is working properly. If your wireless remote is not already connected to power, you can pair it by holding the menu and OK buttons for 10 seconds. With the chair fully assembled and everything working properly, you are now ready to enjoy your M888 Kokoro massage chair. <laughs>